don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. Hello there everyone, Tom here again, and today we have the privilege of taking a look at the New Age, uh, the first release of theirs for their Devastator. Uh, apparently it's going to be Hephaestus. You know, uh, this is going to be Mining Vein and Demolitions Rum, R-U-M. Yeah. Okay, so I guess these are the arms. Uh, let's see, what are their names? Crap, I can't remember. But these these are the first ones I've gotten, and these came in. I, I bought these from uh, TF. Was it TF Direct? No, it was Show Z. These came in from Show Z. And I have to tell you, they were in transport for a long, long time. Um, And they were just sitting there in customs for just about a longer time. So it was something to think about. So we're going to get the two figures. Let's see, this is Scrapper and Bone Crusher, right? Isn't that right? We get a bunch of Energon cubes. Eh, that's fine. I imagine these are the directions. I would imagine correctly. <clears throat> they do not appear to be too horribly complicated. And, yeah, okay, and then we get two trumpets and guns. Now, I saw the, I saw the pictures of the trumpets, and I, I thought they were just being funny with those, you know, like it was a third-party add-on or something, and I don't know, I, I, I get it, I mean, it's a gimmick, I don't need it. I think it's a it's a waste of material personally uh, I'm sure there's people out there that are going to just love them but they're measuring in at just over an inch let's zoom in here a little bit the guns we get are just a standard cast no uh, no paint whatsoever and they're tiny but now the the original guns were pretty small too for the G1 and again, here's the uh, uh, the little horn thingy. Yeah, that's a that's a useless accessory for me. All right, so that covers the accessories. Okay, so let's. Zoom in here on the figures and get a decent look at them. Let's start here with Bone Crusher. And he does have some very nice metallic paint, as you can see on his eyes, on his visor. Uh, the head sculpt, it's okay. It's all right. Uh, we've got a little detail here. Uh, that's purple plastic. I think this is purple plastic yeah there's not a lot of paint on this at least not from what I can tell and there's not a whole lot of molded detail now scrapper here has the same metallic paint right here on his eyes he'll have a little purple here for his window and that's kinda it for the paint on him. So while we're looking at him, why don't we just do articulation. Ball jointed head gets you up to here, down to there. Uh, there's not really a whole lot of room for confused dog look. It will go all the way around though. The arms are on these double ball pegs, so they'll go all the way up. So he can go Superman fly or whatever all the way around you get a little bit of wiggle 
on the the by on uh, the joint you get a bicep rotation which is on this mushroom peg right here let's see double joint to elbow gets you all the way up up for the full run and the hand will move up and down and it's on its own little it's got to be a mushroom peg in there so it'll go all the way around uh, I'm sorry, it was not on a mushroom peg. It was just a plain old regular old peg. All right, something to take note of. He does have a proper ab crunch. I won I'm wondering if that's just because of his uh, combi combined mode. The legs are pinned. I guess I don't know if those are universals or not, but he can obviously do the Chinese splits forward and back for the full American splits. <clears throat> Thigh swivels built around this mushroom peg right here so no problems there. Knee joint double jointed cut very nice and he gets the full run out of that. I like it when they put the the covers on the joints. Full ankle rocker so that's good. Uh, no toe tilt up, but you can move this so that you could make it look like he was toe tilting and nothing down I'll be really surprised if bone crushers is any different Heads on that same ball ball peg, but he does get the confused dog look goes all the way around This is as far as it'll go up. That's as far as it'll go down Ah, Range of motion on the arms is a little bit different for him goes all the way around even though he I take that back I take that back he can't get it you just got to move it out of the way single jointed elbow gets you that far past 90 degrees it didn't come out does it no single jointed elbow okay thigh swivel uh, I'm sorry uh, we have articulation here goes around on this joint the wrist can move in and out and it's pegged as well just like the other one so it'll rotate ab crunch proper ab crunch so right there hips the same type of configuration so he can do the Chinese splits without problem forward and back for the full American splits no problem thigh swivel these are the same legs built around this uh, uh, mushroom peg right here double jointed knee nice paint yeah that's paint nice paint throughout there and the ankles you get the broken foot thing uh, he does have an ankle rocker can y'all see that or a toe tilt uh, a tilt and a back I'm sorry these are not the same legs they're the same right up until you get down to here and this is where they differ all right that is pretty much these guys in a nutshell so why don't we do scale comparisons and then we will do uh, transformations So we're going to begin transformation and before we get too deep into that I wanted to just make sure that you saw they're about four inches high uh, shoulder to shoulder they're they're about inch and three quarters so just just to be mindful I don't think I, I did that when we did scale so I'm going to start here with old bone crusher and the first thing we do flip the hands in take the arm here push it forward hand in collapse the arm. 
open up the chest cavity here get this kind of out of the way I need to pull this down next we need to get the head and push it down like this we're going to bring up the arms and they're going to connect with this peg hole and this peg and it's just a matter of getting them in there squeeze them together just like that all right now what we need to do is we need to open this up it just comes apart from this peg to this this slot and the trickiest part about this is just getting the head through that little opening and it's not horrible you just have to be mindful of what you're doing pop this down so that these peg holes will go into uh, I'm sorry these pegs will go into these peg holes like that bring this up open this up and leave this like this for the moment coming down to the legs using this hinge system we have here open the legs like we were going to do uh, you know like an old school hunger or bruticus you know sorry there is some interesting uh, engineering that goes on here <clears throat> excuse me break your ankle this piece right here is going to slide back and it's not it's not the most easiest that's not what I mean it's not the easiest thing to do perhaps it will get easier with time I don't know but slide it back until it comes off on that hinge and I want to show you all can you see the stress marks right here they're on both of these in the same area so just be mindful of this when you're working with it I don't know if it'll ever give us problems can you all see the stress marks here too is it in focus focus there yeah see the stress marks they're in the same spot on both just be mindful all right open this up this piece will come forward on both sides like this bring your foot back up Wait, uh, get it right Tom you're making your tread here this will come around this will go in like this this will come down and that will go in all right so the trick here is to get this part in here so just rotate it around until it works push it into place push down your little cover here push that in and then we bring this around and there's a peg and a peg hole peg holes and pegs just uh, get it where it needs to be line it up properly and push it all into place same thing on this side line everything up properly push it into place the final step for this is to raise this up here like this and to pick this little bit up and put it right there and I believe that is correct and this is what it looks like measures in at approximately three inches uh, height wise about an inch and a half width wise eh, inch and a half that's this little feller all right so we're going to set him aside and we're going to pull out this one scavenger scavenger has some interesting stuff going on with him too first thing we're going to do is knock down his arms and we can go ahead and we can collapse those on those double hinges we'll get to those in a minute next we pull his chest to the side we have to open it up to get room take his scoop pull it back 
rotate his head around like this and we're going to tuck it into this cavity we just made. Pull this back. These are going to come up, rotate them around so that the little peg, that little bit right there, goes into the ball, ball point, ball, whatever it is, the ball joint. Bring up your arms and just connect them the way you would expect with that pin and that port right there. And that kind of makes the uh, steam shovel deck, the back deck for it. Alright, we can go ahead if we want to and rotate our legs around. Open them up just like we did with bone crushers. Let's see here. Pull this down rotate it around and it's going to plug into this pinhole right here just like this both sides rotate it around down come on now there we go and in just like that now it's just a matter of bringing them up and Bringing them up. There's, uh, they peg in right here at this peg hole. There's a peg right there. That's how it stays together. It's not the greatest connection ever was, but it does work. Bring down your scoop. Open this up like this. I'm sorry, you couldn't see that. It was down like that. Just rotate that up. And here is scavenger. Scavengers treads measure two inches. If you, I guess, if you extend this all the way, uh, you're looking at about four and a half height-wise. That's generally pretty close to what most people, I think, will have it if it's ever in this mode. Be about two, two and a quarter width-wise, uh, inch and uh, I don't know, five eighths. Okay. Articulation, uh, they both slide. This moves up and down a little bit. That'll move. That's his articulation. This you can rotate up, down. It's got a joint, joint, joint. And that kind of represents his articulation. So they're not, not greatly articulated here. But... You know, they are legend scale, and we, we tend to give legend scale a little bit better of a pass. Let's do size comparisons, and then we'll go into final thoughts. Nemesis, what are you doing? I'm just looking at my buddies here. Bone Crusher and Scrapper. The hell did you do to them? I didn't do anything to them, Nemesis. They came that way. That is New Age's interpretation of what they should look like. I think they're too thin. We've been doing this a long time. And I happen to think that I am an expert on these things. Uh... Well, I don't consider myself an expert in Amesis. I'm just a, a casual collector. Well, that's your fault, not mine. Let me tell you. Something's off on these. They just don't, they look anemic. Is that right? Anorexic, anemic, whatever the hell it is. They don't look right. Well, that's your opinion. Why don't you go ahead and meander off stage? Damn it. I get no respect. No respect, I tell you. All right, folks. Hey, wait a minute. We're missing something, aren't we? Hang on. Nemesis, get back here. Ah! Quack, quack. Ah! <laughs> That's better. Damn it. All right. So let's talk about these guys real quick. Uh, the playability on them... Uh, it, it, they're not difficult to transform. 
There were some interesting little engineering bits like with his feet. I did appreciate. Uh, the, the range of motion is fairly good on them. Uh, let, let's move on to materials. The materials, uh, uh, the stress marks aside, which really concern me, they're not bad. Uh, they they feel solid for the most part. Plastic doesn't feel like it's going to warp or bend on me. Some of the joints were a little tight, but after use they've loosened up uh, almost to the point where it's concerning. <clears throat> the range of motion is fine with the materials. I think it's all right. The cost, this pack was over $70, 70 US dollars, and the value is not here. Uh, this, this would be something I would expect to pay maybe $40 for. Now, I'm sure people are going to sit there and say, well, parts count and uh, d individual design and all that. I get that. Stress marks, this hand... Is it this one or that? Yeah, it's this one. It just comes off with the greatest of ease. Uh, these things aren't built well. They have been pushed out, I think, in a rush, whereas they could have taken just a little bit more time and refined some of the issues. Uh, if they had pinned this, it would have been fine. And they have the pins... So I'm not sure why they didn't do it in the first place. The transformation is not bad. Uh, and and it, it has, like I said, some interesting engineering. But that shouldn't weigh into the cost. And I'm not sure they had to go down uh, this, this intricate foot change here for him when they already had something that worked for this guy. So I'm, I'm not sure why they did that. Maybe it's pride in their product. If so, kudos to them. But if this was my first Transformer, if this set came as my first Transformer, would I buy another one? I think I'd be intrigued, and I think I'd try one more. But I also have to say the, the way that it comes together, the way that it works, it feels cheap. I know there's people that, that sit there and they love New Age, and, and that's, that's fine. There's no paint really on these things uh, a little bit back here purple little bit of silver right there that you can see uh, the paint here these things are primarily just pieces of plastic which I appreciate paint I also appreciate interesting engineering and interesting build and fun flipping back and forth let me tell you I I'm, I'm not going to flip these back and forth there's they're not fun enough for me to do that and, and and that's a subjective thing i get that but that does count that does count uh with the magic square stunticons i was i was happy to flip those back and forth a few times these are going to go back in their clamshell and i won't pull these back out until um until i get another set to review them with now having said that i did get i've i've, I've ordered both the magic square and the New Age sets, because Devastator is my favorite Transformer. So I wanted to see what they did, but I have to tell you, I think these are missing the mark. These are construction vehicles, and they should be bulky. They should be boxy, and these are not. And again, that's subjective. People are going to disagree with me, but pulling out Nemesis, I mean, he is bulky. I mean, he's he's bulkier than either of these guys and that's that's just in the shoulders and he is a a very old transformer at this point now these may be a hundred percent tune accurate but i don't like it should you buy it hey if you're like me you're going to buy them whether they're pieces of crap or not and you're going to lament the fact that you spent $70 on something, better than $70 on something, that you could have probably done something else with and bought something that you enjoyed. I don't enjoy these. 
they're not bad figures but I don't enjoy them I hope that helps anyway this is Tom thanks for watching I'll see oh uh, one other thing these stupid um, horns waste of money waste of money absolute waste of money for me this time thanks for watching see you at the next review thank you for watching my papa's channel please subscribe and like thank you It's just so hard, Doctor. After three million years, I suppose it's normal, but... Yes, go on. But the tailpipe emissions, they've become so bad, he's not allowed to transform in the house. Hmm. This is a pretty common issue with bots in their mid-three millions. Fortunately, there is a remedy. What is it, Doctor? I'll pay any price. Why, Vitaminogen. Is your partner complaining about your emissions? Do you backfire with no warning? Do your friends avoid you with stupid excuses you know are fake? Then try Vitamin John today. Try our three-week starter pack, guaranteed to rid you of your emission problems or your money back. What do you have to lose except your stinky emissions? It's amazing, Doctor. He's like a young bot of two million. And we owe it all to Vitaminogen. Yippee! Wow. Vitamin John, operators are standing by. Go now!